Good morning, my dudes. We arrived in Agra last night, and you know what that means. The Taj Mahal this morning. I'm smiling and excited to see the Taj Mahal, but in reality, there's some pretty unfortunate circumstances. We had planned to get up really early at 6 a.m. and go see the Taj Mahal, and Mike got food poisoning last night, like really bad, so Mike isn't unable to come this morning. We've both been fine in terms of food and eating until like literally last night, which is the only night, this is the only deadline we have because the Taj Mahal is closed on Fridays, so you could have got sick any other time because we could have just pushed the activity to the next day but this is super unfortunate because seriously this is the like tightest deadline we've had but um yeah just praying for buddy hopefully hopefully he'll be okay and it looks like I'm not the only one who thought about getting up early the line has already begun Well, security was in little to no hurry to help us get through the gates, but we made it. The sun has risen, but it's still golden hour, so I'm happy with that. Gonna get some footage. I cannot wait to see the Taj Mahal. I have been stoked on this. joking I'm not kidding this is one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen it is stunning it's really quite hard to believe something like this was built by humans like that is so beautiful it is so perfect it is symmetrical from all sides and then the garden is all symmetrical and placed perfectly in the center with a huge gate over there and another one behind it all done in beautiful white marble and the sun rising and the clouds oh my gosh this is a perfect day <laughs> Unfortunately, I am not quite famous enough to have the Taj Mahal to myself. So there's like 5 million people here. It's crazy. But I still think sunrise is the time to go because midday, come midday, this place is going to be absolutely packed. And <laughs> it's, that is just so magnificent. I am seriously at a loss for words. No joke, no exaggeration. This is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. That's enough coverage of the grounds. It is time to go onto the palace itself. Got the protective shoe coverings to protect the floor of the, the palace. There we go. So I sort of lied to you guys when I told you earlier that the entire thing was symmetrical. It is symmetrical from the side. So the left side has this massive gate and then the Taj right there. And the right side is perfectly identical to that. But the front and the back do not have those gates. The back backs onto a river and the front has that entire courtyard, the beautiful courtyard. So, I mean, I was 50% correct in my statement. But the Taj itself is symmetrical on all sides. So maybe let's say like a 75%. I was telling 75% of the truth. Girl, there's too many questions I don't think that my naive head can solve Time to go inside the Taj, but there's no cameras allowed, so I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> and we're out. I'm gonna have to do a quick Google search on what was actually in there because I didn't hire a tour guide. So, I'll let you guys know in a minute. So thanks to a quick Google search, I've got the entire story of the Taj Mahal and uh, also information about the inside. So for those of you who don't know, it was built during the rule of Emperor Shah Jahan. I'm probably butchering that name, I'm sorry. It was dedicated to his favorite wife who died during childbirth and it was made to be like this magnificent monument for them and for love. Walking inside, it's definitely not as magnificent as the outside. It's, it's grand, it's huge, but it's dimly lit and it's pretty plain, surprisingly. 
surprisingly. It's kind of just all marble. But inside, the main thing was there's two sarcophagi, I guess you'd call them, uh, surrounded by kind of like a barrier wall. And you would presume that it's him and his favorite wife in there, but it's not. They actually are down below in a quiet room, it says, at garden level. And so those two are just for show. Fun facts. Yeah, I, I really wish I could have shown you guys the inside, but honestly, the outside is the magnificent piece. <laughs> <laughs> Four hours here at the Taj Mahal and I could have spent longer but I'm about to fill up the memory card so I guess it's my time to go. Like I have said throughout this entire video, I honestly cannot recommend the Taj highly enough. You will be blown away, I guarantee it. I really have no idea if the camera is going to do it justice or my filming is going to do it justice but seeing that in real life just it it is mind-blowing sadly from what i've heard there is actually not much else to do in agra there's something called the agra fort which is apparently okay but it really cannot stack up to this obviously so we are spending two days here and that is only because the train situation and the fact that the uh taj is closed on friday if you're coming here i'll let you know but i think you could probably do this in one day just come see this for sunrise and then peace out the following day my dudes, what is up? It is the next day. Mike is alive. He is okay. Mike, how is the sickness? Uh, three out of ten. Would not recommend. Three out of ten, dude? Yeah. Please explain to me in vivid detail what happened. I'm going to take a solid pass for your sake. <laughs> Anyways, it is the next day. After the Taj Mahal yesterday, I really didn't do much. I went back to check on Mike, got him a banana, and we, we let her, well, I chilled. He didn't have a fun time. But, um... Yeah, I wanted to wait for the sunset portion for him because we have this extra day here because the Taj Mahal is closed on Friday. Anyways, we're going to take a sunset boat ride along the river right behind the Taj Mahal. back from the river viewing of the Taj Mahal and I have to say it was really cool. Do you like it Mike? Yeah, it probably wasn't as good as the inside but it was still good. If you have the time, if you're here and you are interested in seeing the sunset from a different area because if you go on the Taj Mahal in the morning you are not allowed to go back in at night. You'd have to buy a separate ticket. So I, uh, I think it's a really cool idea to like 200 rupees a person which isn't bad. It's like four bucks. So um yeah, if you're interested, highly recommend it. Anyways guys, tomorrow we have a big, big day. We are headed somewhere very cool, which you will find out in the next video. But um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you so much. And I'll see you all in another one. Love you, love you.